Hey, this is Eric Kurtz, and in this video, we're going to take a look at sorting text and tables in Google Docs. Now, Google Docs is a wonderful word processing program with lots of fantastic features, uh, but one thing it does not have by default is the ability to sort. So, for example, if you have a uh, list of items that are not alphabetized and you'd like to sort them, uh, there's not really a way to do that by default. Same thing for tables. If you've got tables and you want to sort that information, there's nothing just built in automatically to the program that lets you sort those. So in the past, we've you know had to be kind of creative and perhaps copy uh, the text or copy the table and paste it into a Google Sheet and then sort in the Google Sheet and then copy and paste it back into the doc. You know, that works, but not, uh, not anywhere as easy as it should be. Uh, so in this video, we're going to take a look at an add-on that gives you this ability to sort text and tables. Now the add-on is called Doc Tools, and if you don't have it installed, you can get there by first going up to the add-ons menu inside of your Google document, and then choosing Get Add-ons. That'll bring up the add-ons menu where you can either scroll through all of the available add-ons, or you can just run a search. If you do want to run a search, again, this one's called Doc Tools, so just Doc tools. There we go. Run a search for that. And there it is. You can either hit the plus free button right there to install it, or if you want to click on it to learn a little bit more about it first, that's certainly fine. Uh, whatever way, when you're ready, just go ahead and click the plus free button to install that add-on. Give it permission, and it should be done. Now, keep in mind, add-ons are a one-time installation. Once you've installed them, they are now a part of your account. So anytime you go into Google Docs, you will now have this add-on available. So if I go up to add-ons, I now see Doc Tools is available in that menu. Now, it does a whole lot of things, and you may want to investigate a lot of the other things that it does as well. But for this particular video, we're talking about sorting, one of the missing features inside of Google Docs. So let's do two different types of sorting. First of all, let's say we want to sort a list of words. So here I've got some states that are not alphabetized. Let's say I want to alphabetize these. Very simply, all I have to do is highlight the entire list that I want to sort, then go up to my add-ons menu, give a click there, go down to Doc Tools, and popping off from the side there, you'll see a lot of options including sort the selection ascending and sort the selection descending. I'll go ahead and do these alphabetically, so that would be ascending. As soon as I click on that, it'll go ahead and uh, sort that for me, so let me give a click and come on over here, and there you go. Now we've got Florida, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania in order. Piece of cake. Now, the great thing about this is it also works for tables. So let's say I have some tables, that a table that I want to sort that has multiple columns in it. I can come in here and tell it to sort by a certain column, and it will sort the entire table along with it. So maybe I want to sort by last name, for example. Well, basically, all you have to do is click anywhere. It doesn't really matter where, as long as you click somewhere inside of the table so it knows that's the table you're working on. Then go up to Add-ons, Doc Tools, and again, choose whether you want to sort ascending or descending. Well, we'll do ascending, that's fine. And what happens now, because I was inside of a table, it realized, oh, that's not just a list of text. We've got a table here, and you get this special pop-up. In this special pop-up, you can tell whether or not there is a header row. I do have a header row, so I'll select that. If you don't select that, then that top row also gets sorted along with everything else. And then below there, you can decide how you want to sort. So you could say, oh, let's sort by last name. And if I go ahead and hit sort, then right away, boom, it will resort that table now all by last name. Now you may have noticed I can also sort by multiple columns. So instead of just sorting by last name, maybe I want to sort first by the grade level, and wherever there's a tie, then I want to break that tie by sorting by the last name. It does allow that. So again, as long as I'm clicked anywhere inside of the table, and I come up to add-ons, doc tools, and sort the selection ascending. I'll once again tell it that I've got a header row. I'm going to say let's first sort by the grade level, and if there's any ties, then we can sort by last name. And I know there's not any ties after that, but we could then 
take a third level to and say sort by first name as well. When I click the sort button, it'll now sort by uh, grade level, so six, seven, eight, and where the eights tied and then sorted by the last name. Excellent. So until Google provides us with a built-in sorting feature, you can use Doc Tools to fill that gap for now. If you'd like to learn more about this, you can head on over to my blog, controlaltachieve.com. Specifically, you can go to controlaltachieve slash docsort, and that'll take you to the specific article that talks about sorting with uh, the Docs tool, the Doc Tools add-on, um, and you can uh, see this video there as well as get some additional details while you're there. Of course, definitely feel free to check out all the rest of the blog posts that are there as well as my resources, a lot of Google resources available on the site, including my free one-hour webinars, got about uh, 22 of them there at the moment, and there's even a newsletter you can sign up for to stay in the loop on the latest things for the website. Thanks so much. Take care.